to everyone that is listening. Today I'm going to be telling you one of my favorite stories. It's the story of the stonecutter. Once upon a time there was a stonecutter who lived in a small village. He would cut rocks into different shapes and sizes for the people of his village. And his hands were hard and his clothes were dirty. One day the stonecutter had to um, carve a huge boulder uh, in the blazing sun and after many hours of this difficult task he decided to take a nap in the shade. A little while later he woke up to the sound of a long procession with um, many attendees and soldiers and in the middle was a majestic king sitting in a palanquin carried by lots of strong men. The stonecutter thought, oh, how wonderful would it be if I were a majestic king rather than a stonecutter. Oh, how I wish I were a stonecutter. As soon as he said these words, a strange thing happened. The stonecutter found himself dressed in silk clothes and shiny jewels. His hands were soft and he was sitting in a comfortable palanquin. He looked at the curtain and saw all these attendees and thought, ah, oh, how wonderful. My life as a king is so easy. All these people are here to serve me. As the procession continued, it got warmer and the king became uncomfortably hot. He ordered the procession to stop so that he could rest in the shade for some time. As soon as he did this, um, one of the officers came up to him and said, Your Majesty, only this morning you swore to have me hanged if we did not reach the palace by sunset. The, soldier, the um, stone cutter, who was now the king, felt the soldier sorry and ordered the uh, procession to continue. Wore on, it became hotter and hotter, and the king became uncomfortably warm. And he thought to himself, oh, Being a king is wonderful, but I would rather be the sun, for it is more powerful than a king. As soon as he said these words, he turned into the sun, shining down on the earth. His power was hard to control. He shone too brightly. He burnt up all the fields and turned the ocean into vapor, causing a huge cloud over the land. No matter how strongly he shone, he could not shine through the cloud. And so the stone cutter, who is now the sun, thought, hmm, the sun is strong, but the clouds are stronger and more powerful than the sun. I wish I were a cloud. No sooner he said the words, he turned into a massive, big, black cloud. His new power was hard to control and he flooded um, all the land. He poured and poured until all the houses were washed away and the trees uh, fell over and also washed away. The only thing that could not be moved was one huge boulder. And no matter how much he poured or how loud he roared, the boulder would not move. The stone cutter, who is now a cloud, thought to himself, Ah, oh, if only I were a stone cutter, for a stone cutter's skill could change the shape or move the boulder. He turned into a stone cutter with his hard hands and dirty clothes. He picked up his tools and happily continued working on the boulder. The end. Um, the reason I love this story is because it uh, teaches us as sort of the underlying lesson that we all have been given different roles and duties on this earth. Uh, by the Almighty and they are all equally important and more so that we should value it and do our best.
best in the roles you've been given. I wish you lots of love. Peace to everyone.